slide your your uh, jack at the back of the bike. Um, you, you have to jack your back wheel off the ground about three quarters of an inch. Uh, my shock's a little bit longer and it gives you plenty of room to play with it. In the, in the uh, box of shocks there's, there's a fitting to adjust the preload and two pins to plug up your airlines. This will, you shove them in there, wiggle them, and you'll feel them drop in about a quarter of an inch. This way you can put your your shocks on the uh, counter in the garage that won't leak oil. When you get around to selling the bike, you put the old shocks on it, send it down the road. We should be able to use these on any other bike you buy. I usually use a bar when I'm taking the shocks off on the last shock so you don't bugger up that, that last thread as you're pulling it out and having the wheel drop. When you put your shock on, in this video I'm putting the top bolt in first. I kind of found it's maybe simpler sometimes to put the bottom bolt in. It's a little harder to line up that bottom bolt on the swinging arm and it's easier to line up the one on the top. I usually grab the, the two foot, three foot bar and lift it up so there's no load on it. And I don't tighten up the bolts all the way. I leave them, you know, turn them in a couple turns, leave a little slop in there. That way it's easier to get the other uh, shock set up. And, and uh, once you get all the four bolts in the in the uh, shocks, then you can tighten them up. I usually put a little Loctite on them as well, a little permanent or, or the blue stuff, just to keep them from backing off. So what we're doing now is measuring the height of the shock between the, the two spring covers. There's a spring clip in there. It's probably sitting at about nine inches, eight and a half. It varies between shocks. The same shock, measure how long it is, and then when you sit on it and sack it out, measure the same side. Don't go from one side to the other. What you want to do is bounce on the bike about ten times, and then let the motorcycle pick you up, and then we re-measure the shock height. It should be five eighths to a half inch a sack. Sometimes I just kind of push on it when the guy's weight's on there just so it, it picks him up. The bottom spring cover is uh, where your spring adjuster is. Twist that off. Should have mentioned to begin with that the, the shock shaft goes to the top of the frame generally. The body goes to the swinging arm. I'm only showing you adjusting that a quarter of a turn. To, to get a hundred thousandths worth of adjustment up or down, you have to turn that probably five half turns. So usually I'm adjusting it 10, 12, 15. 